how are you guys doing today? Happy Wednesday. It's hump day. We're like halfway through the week, right? Yeah, all good stuff. So today's video is a highly requested video and it's to talk about the curvy body, you know, keeping a curvy body, you know, getting an hourglass body or maintaining one. So this video, this can go both ways. You could either use these tips to maintain what you have or you can use these tips to, you know, get a curvy body, to get an hourglass figure. I just want to first start, start out by saying that the body that I've created for myself, the plan that I've created, the meal plan, the, the working out plan, everything that I've created is very manageable for me. I've listened to videos of people that compete, like they do body competitions, and I've listened to people talk about, you know, professionally modeling. And one common theme that I've heard both parties talk about is that when they're doing their work, like, you know, their competition or modeling or something like that, they always talk about that that body, body that they have for work, is not an all year round body. It's not a body that they can maintain all year round because it takes so much out of them. It takes so much hard work, so much dedication. And I just want to say that what I, the plan that I've created for myself is not like that. I'm not starving. I'm not so lean where I lost my boobs. I'm not so lean where I've lost muscle. I've created a plan for myself that's very manageable. What I want to say to anybody that's starting a weight loss journey or is currently on one or is just trying to maintain, always choose something and choose a plan that works for you. There was a time when I was going to the gym and lifting heavy weights and just going to the gym in general and I didn't like it. I was unhappy there. And now I don't go to the gym anymore. I take fitness classes. I do at home stuff. I hike. We'll talk about this in the workout side of things, but um, in the video. But what I'm saying is choose something that is going to work for you long term. Okay, so normally in my videos, we start with the food. So today I'm going to switch things up and we're going to start with the workout side of things. I think for a curvy hourglass body type, I think personally, and of course, this is just me saying this, you don't have to do this. You could do more, you could do less. But I think that like with trial and error, I realized that three days a week works best for me. I think if I do less than three days a week, then I don't feel like, I don't feel like as fit and I feel like I could start to lose muscle then. Three days a week works perfect for me. And I'm getting rest days, that's when our bodies repair. That's actually when our muscles are growing, believe it or not, because when we're working our muscles, we're tearing them down. So on rest days is when they tear down and then build back bigger. So when you are trying to build muscle, which is very important for a curvy and hourglass body type, because the muscle is going to give it like that look. I don't even know what I'm doing here, but that look, you do need rest days. Okay, so these are the workouts that I recommend that I've seen the biggest improvement and I think they're actually enjoyable to do. The first is HIT. I would add a HIT workout into your workout routine at least one day a week. And the reason being is because one, it's gonna be a shorter workout, so you're not gonna feel like, oh my God, I have to you know, keep myself busy for an hour. No, they're short workouts. I even have HIT workouts on my channel. You can check them out. You can check out other ones on YouTube. But the great thing about HIT is you're getting your heart rate up fast, which in turn helps you burn more calories and then you can start burning more fat. You could even take it up a notch by doing fasted cardio and that's when you work out first thing in the morning with no food in your stomach and that is my favorite kind of workout because I feel like if I work out after eating, I'm just burning what I just ate. Whereas if I were to work out first thing in the morning, which is what I do, then I can actually start burning fat rather than the food that I just ate. So that was a lot of information. I'm sorry, this video is gonna have like a lot, a lot, a lot of tips, but fasted cardio and HIT, try them in your routine. If it works, great. If you hate it, then forget I said anything. Okay, so then the next thing that I do is I added in a circuit training class, which I showed in Monday's video. And that class is where I do my weightlifting. And now the reason why I like doing it in that class is I like supervised weightlifting. Maybe I stand alone, but I used to love the class Body Pump. Did, did anyone ever used to take that? I used to take it at Gold's Gym. And I haven't found Body Pump here in LA, but Body Pump was one of my favorite classes because I don't like to lift super heavy weights. Um, I don't, I'm not trying to get like super big, but I also just want to have like lean cuts. Me weights are very important. I would never completely cut out weights in my workout routine because it is going to make certain body parts bigger and more toned. Like I'm always working on my butt and you know, that gives me a curvy look. Working on my legs, my shoulders, you know, even the waist, the stomach, everything. I think weights are super important for just 
the diet is how I'm losing fat and then the weights are how I'm toning up. Okay, and my third and final workout recommendation would be some sort of a dance class, dance cardio, which is what I do, Zumba, um, I know bar is a popular dance, but just adding dance in your routine. Dance gets you to move your body in ways that a normal traditional workout can't do. If you're trying to work that itty bitty waist and you're trying to work that, you know, just a certain part of your body, just like a random part, like I always say the waist. Every time we're talking about dance, I always bring up the waist because dance gets you to move in just just this flow of movement that you're not going to get in other workouts and you're not going to, you know, move certain parts of your stomach, you know, like belly dancing and just all sorts of things like that or like right in between your thighs. I have a thigh workout where it's just dance and it's like something that we do in my twerk class that I take and it just works the upper thighs without weight. And you're burning calories, having fun, you're burning fat and you're also working parts of your body that you might not be able to work with weights, with HIIT, with circuit training. And the last workout that I do is I hike. I like to do Runyon Canyon here in LA. And what I like about that one is you're, you start like up sort of, like you're kind of like here, and then there's stairs, so you're really going up and you're, you like feel like you're on a Stairmaster, but it's worse because when you look down, you, you see like what an incline you're on. And then it's like, it's like this, it's like mid, like up, down, up, down, and then it's just down. So basically what I'm trying to say, and I'm explaining this so poorly, but what I'm trying to say is that my body's working and doing so many different things that at first my body's saying like, okay, I have to use my strength to go up. Okay, now I have to use my strength to go down, and then up and down, and it's kind of really tricking your body and, you know, tricking and boosting that metabolism, which is why I like HIIT. Um, I love workouts like that where it's not a consistent pace. It's, it's you know, doing this and then it's doing that and doing this and doing that because I feel like it's the highs and the low is what your body really thrives on and it forces it to work and to wake up. It's like, hello, wake up. Is anybody in there? Is anyone in there burning fat? And your body's like, I'm there. I'm doing it. You know, like it's like, it's like now or never. So I like that. Instead of just like, you're sitting on the treadmill for 30 minutes and you're just going the same pace. If you like doing the treadmill or you have one or you go to the gym and use one, then what you want to do is you want to first set it to like maybe five minutes you're, you know, walking slow, then walk on an incline, then run, then slow. Okay, so now let's talk about the diet side of things, which is something that I kind of think is my specialty. I really like the diet side of things because I feel like I found out what works for me. And once you find out what works, it just makes your life so much easier. Things don't feel like such a challenge. It's just, it's good. It's good stuff when you find out what works. <laughs> First thing that I want to say that I think is really important in my diet are fats. I embrace them. I'm not afraid to have fat in my diet. I'm not like, no, no fat. I think fat is really what helps my body stay curvy, stay fueled, stay full throughout the day because I'm not depriving myself. If you deprive yourself of fats and carbs and sugars, you're going to be a mess. You're going to have cravings like crazy. You're going to feel tired. You're going to feel fatigued. Just all like, like a, a feeling that you, you don't like. Some of my favorite fats are eggs. I don't just eat the white part. I know some people just eat egg whites. I eat the yolk too. Olive oil, coconut oil, which is a big debate. Some people don't like having coconut oil because they think it's too high in saturated fats. I love it, more the better. I love avocados. I eat an avocado every single day, sometimes two a day. I always make sure to get in my omega-3s, not just the vitamin, but I actually eat omega-3s like salmon and trout. I have nuts and seeds almost every day. I always have a handful of nuts and strawberries or blueberries. And then seeds, my current favorite ones are pumpkin seeds and I put them on top of avocado. It's so good. <laughs> you will love it. It's such a like crunchy snack that you feel like a lot's going on there and it, it's satisfying. I love almond butter. Sometimes I put almond butter in my shake. Of course you can Google and look up more good fats in your diet. These are just some that I have pretty much every single day. Yeah, I don't think that they're, the only one that I wouldn't say I have every day is salmon, probably only once a week, but I make sure to have my fats. Fats are nutritionally important for your health. They help give you that glow, they help your hair grow nice, um, you know, just everything work properly, including weight loss, including your metabolism. You don't want to just cut off a food source and then you're like, oh, my metabolism has slowed down, let me order these like teas online. That's, that's going down a different path. Next thing I want to talk about are carbs. 
Now, I consider myself, and everyone kind of considers their carb intake differently, but I consider myself to be more on the lower side of carbs because I have given up a lot, but that's only because I used to eat a lot of carbs. So breakfast, lunch, and dinner, I try to even it out. You know, if I'm having a lot of oats for breakfast, then I make sure my lunch is a little bit more lean. Vice versa, if I had a low carb breakfast, I'm gonna have carbs in my lunch and dinner. The more carbs I have, the more puffy I am, the more weight I gain. Um, I think that carbs can hold on to more water weight, and when women have a, a lot of water weight, our stomach can look bigger than it actually is, so people always say, oh, I need to lose a ton of weight to lose this, but it could just be a water weight issue. But with that being said, these are my carbs that I always have. I have a lot of these every single day, and if I'm not having them every day, they're always in my refrigerator. I always have these every week. So the first is sweet potatoes. I eat a lot of sweet potatoes. I think that they make great sides to any meal, whether you're having chicken or you're on a plant-based diet. The next one is oats. I love making overnight oats in the morning. You can also make um, oatmeal from your oats. I just, I think oats give me energy. And the great thing about having overnight oats in the morning for me is that I'm full all the way to lunchtime. So that's that's a big one for me. Quinoa, um, and after that, if I'm not, if I'm kind of like sick of quinoa, I'll have wild rice, and that's a great one too. And last but not least is pita. Of course I could be forgetting something, but these are like my main source. They're always on my grocery list, and I always have them. So yeah, that is everything that I wanted to talk about in today's video. If there is anything that I didn't touch on that you have more questions about, comment down below, and I will get back to you. And for more meal ideas, make sure to check out my website. I have my ad meal plan on there. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.